Hello everyone, SMA Watts here. We're about to continue our Let's Play of the Undead Monk in World of Warcraft. When we'd last left off, we had taken Fiona's caravan to Crown Guard Tower in the Eastern Plaguelands. After having rescued uh, Gidwin and Terranar. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here now. I have what you seek. I'd like to set up shop in Lyhoat's Chapel someday. I'm not much of a fighter, but that doesn't mean I can't help the cause. Hope the ride wasn't too bumpy for you. Have a look around the tower while the horses rest. It's no Lyhoat Chapel, but I'm sure you can find some way to keep yourself busy. Cheers, mate. What do you need? How may I help you? Zandalar the Outcast. Can you believe that all the trouble we have in the Plaguelands, we have to worry about thieves too, and not just normal thieves, troll thieves. And not just normal troll thieves, dead troll thieves. They're led by this big dead troll named Zandalar, named Zaldar the Outcast. And they come here at night and steal bodies from our graveyards and then take them back to their evil dead troll hideout, the Undercroft, to the southwest, Go there and take out Zan Zaldar. Ashwin, I'm sick to death of his mischief. Go forth to victory. All right, all right. Um, I got it. Greetings, Carlin. Re oh, Redpath. <sighs> Little Pamela. The battle for Darrowshire still haunts me, undead. I wake up in cold sweats, convinced that I'm there, still there. That is, that it is happening all over again. I've coped with the loss of my comrades, but the loss of my family members is still cripplingly painful. One of my lost kin during the attack was my young niece, Pamela. If you are brave enough to enter Darrowshire, will you search for any sign of Pammy? Darrowshire's runes are south of here. Be careful. Victory lies ahead. While we are waiting here at this tower, we might as well see if anybody else is headed to Light Hope's Chapel. The more the merrier, I say. Ask around to see if anybody wants to join up on our trip. I'm sure we can find somebody who's headed to Light Hope's Chapel. Death to all who oppose us. Greetings. Alright, so Speak, friend. Can I help you? Hey Chromie. Hello there, Ashen Wind. I'm known as Chronormus. But you may call me Chromie. I'm comfortable with such familiarity. Now, how did you know, now how did I know your name, you ask? I'm one of the bronze dragon flights, forever attuned to the ebb of time, the ebb and flow of time. You could say that we have met before. To that end, we shall meet again also. Um, are you interested in joining a caravan to Light Hope's Chapel? Uh, no thanks, maybe sometime in our future, or our past. Uh, not today. You have a great day now. I'm never talking to that gnome again. <laughs> Uh, I've spent far too long in that town. It's a, it's a wonderful place, and I enjoy my service there, but I think I'd prefer to stay here. Uh, all right. Is there someone up top? I'll go to the top. I have an archer parachute. Hey there. Um, yes, traveler. Well, I'm headed in that direction. I've only been delaying here at guard at Crown's Guard because of all the wildlife activity on the road, huh? I'll make you a deal. You help me clear the roads, and yes, I'll join your group. Uh, all right. See you later. Can I help you? The rough roads. The Argen Crusade built these towers to be points of light in the darkness of the plague lands. I walk the pass between these towers, protecting them and maintaining them. The roads have been dangerous lately. Plagued wildlife runs rampant, and bats swoop down upon unsuspecting travelers. It would make my next leg of my journey much easier if you could clear some of the wildlife out. Thirteen plague bats. Alright. Whee! Alright. 
So I got someone to agree to to now. We will persevere. Argus High Beacon. That's the old guy on the top of the tower. Great. A man his age must have been in the Argent Crusade for a long time. Maybe he can put in a good word for us at Light Hope. The reckoning is at hand. You live that dream. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go get a troll head. See what I did there? And kill any plague bats we run across on the way. Eh, it doesn't need plague hounds. Are the plague bats only on the one side? Yep. The Undercroft. Um, this isn't awkwardly. someone. Meh. Didn't really intend to, but yeah, it'll give those blood elves more time to ERP. Alright, now let's go Meet little Pamela. Now, for those of you who don't remember Vanilla WoW, or even pre cat I suppose it's really one of those, if you don't remember Vanilla WoW, and you never bothered to do the quest that was really long and really involved, and wow, this is a really tough little bugger, isn't it? But uh, Pamela Redpath was this little ghost girl who we're about to meet, who in Vanilla WoW was, you'd like you'd meet her and you had to do all this stuff uh, eventually in, in a very long, very long, kind of epic quest chain. You uh, brought her father's ghost back to sort of be with her. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend you look up the video uh, in Darrowshire by uh, Cranus. It's a uh, machinima. He did the original music. The song itself is very, makes you sad. It's a beautiful song. And it kind of sums up like uh, Little Pamela. Well worth the three or four minutes if you've never seen it. But we're heading to go find little little Pammy. Who I'm glad they didn't get rid of. Like the fact that the quest chain used to send you from the eastern plague lands to winter spring. Which for the record, Eastern Plague Lands. Uh, where is it? Winter, spring. They are about... And I think you had to make a jaunt to Tenaris at some point, too. It, it is as far apart as you can possibly, like, do. Hello, I'm Pamela. What's your name? What, what did she say? I, I never feel warm anymore. <laughs> my Auntie Marlene told me to stay here in the, our house because my father had to go to f and fight. My father's the bravest man in the whole world. But I haven't been here for... I've been here for a long time and he hasn't come for me. 
Sometimes bad people come and whisper to me, and I want my dad to make them go away, but he's not here. And sometimes, when it gets dark, I want to play with my doll, but I can't, because I left it in town. Will you find my dolly for me? I'm not supposed to tell you this. My daddy always kept two swords, one for fighting men and one for hunting animals. I wasn't supposed to touch his swords, but I knew where he hid them. One day, he told my mommy that he was going to be to fight a lone hunter in the hills to the east, but he brought his animal sword with him. When he came back, he didn't have his sword with him. When Daddy comes back, he'll be so happy when I give him his animal sword. W will you go find it? Alright, so here Dolly is... Just somewhere. Okay. Oh, there it is. Intact. Oh, no. Right side. Like, Vanilla Wow getting this doll was an was a crusade into itself. You know, I kind of wish that uh, WoW would enable a uh, like vanilla servers. Or like a mode where you could actually play like the vanilla game. Like, that would actually be kind of cool. Like, get to do old Nax Ramus at 60. Give uh, a chance to get, like, you know, corrupted uh, Ashbringer and such. Granted, I'm not sure, like, <laughs> then again, that seems more like a once Warlords is sort of done feature they could implement. You know, game's over, you can go home. If you want, you can just start over. So I suppose the problem with doing something like that would be you'd never in a million years get people to uh, get the, the requisite like 40 people to do next Ramus. It just would never happen. Oh, sword. Um. Is that a ghost bunny? That is a ghost bunny. So I'm waiting for this ghost wolf to uh, respawn. What do you suppose that... Ew. 
that's... Ugh. I guess that's just a writhing mass of corruption. That's just gross. Man, this thing's tough. Uh oh. Hmm. I'm wondering if switching to dual wielding has actually decreased my ability to do damage. Weirdly, I'm not showing up in the DPS meters uh, overall. Hi, little Pamela. Daddy loved his animal sword. He seems sad when he didn't have it anymore. That's my daddy's sword. But how did you find it? Did you find the bad hunter? I kind of like that. Did you find my doll? You found it. You found my doll. Oh, thank you. You keep the bad people away, won't you? Do not lose hope, Darrowshire. We will not... F Where are you going? Uncle Carlin, I'm going to go play with my dolly, but I don't want to play with Daddy's sword after all. You better keep it. Even better, can you give it to my Uncle Carlin? I'm not sure where he is, but sometimes I hear him crying. It sounds like he's nearby to the north. I hope he's not crying for me. Ash and Wynn, will you find my uncle and tell him I'm all right? Uh, if you find him, say I'm waiting for him, and I want to hear the story he used to tell. The one about the rabbits and the berry jam. That story's so funny. Uh, that is apparently a Battle of Darrowshire reenactment. Ah. I need to kill bats. And I'm apparently still being chased. You're a gargoyle, not a bat. Bats get a kick to the face. I'm in a ninja kick. Hopefully, that hunter and that blood elf will uh, get ahead of us so that we don't have to worry about competing with them, because level 90 hunter is just going to kind of blow through anything that uh, they have here. So, things like elites and that, like I'm assuming they're probably the one that killed uh, the lone hunter before I got there. And if they're just like five or ten minutes ahead of me, that's fine. That's super. I'm a feared. Oh, there they are coming back. I assume they've killed their bats. Da 
That's weird. That was level 58. Now, I know my charts say, then again, it's... All right. You should be on my action bar somewhere. I am forsaken, I do have will. And I should be activating Will the Forsaken when I get... F well, occasionally. You know, they're gonna nerf Will the Forsaken. I'm a little bit like, why? I suppose I'm actually just more on the level of being like, uh, maybe just get rid of Will the Forsaken and every man for himself and or make them the same because both of those solutions actually deal with the problem though getting rid of it's a much better answer than uh, and replace it with something good though personally I'm in favor of actually mirroring the races Of course, the problem then would be the fact that the races you would mirror don't necessarily have access to the same classes, so there'd be some minor imbalance, but I think it'd be more balanced if, you know, you mirrored, like, orcs and humans and gnomes and goblins. Actually, I suppose the real question would be what what becomes the uh, like actually looking for parallels becomes a little difficult. I mean, I suppose you could go okay. Orcs and humans should probably be mirrored. Like if you were going to mirror the Horde and the, un and the Alliance races, the natural m mirror for the first race would be Orcs and Humans. They're, they're the most logical. And then you would go, well, Goblins and Gnomes make sense because they're both little. And... Like, Night Elves and Tauren are both kind of nature-y and with the other original Druids and all that. An interlaced cowl. All right, uh, Fiona. Open you have unspent talent points. Oh. A coin spent here is a coin for Gilneas. Well, I'm, un I'm forsaken. I'm gonna go spend my coin over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go give it to the Argent Crusade. And that's just because you said that. All right. Gagbaz. How may I help you? I have a troll head. Did you find the hideout, Ashenwin? Did you take care of Zeldar? Great, you got him. And I hope you taught his gang a lesson too. Strength. <laughs> what can I do for 
you. Of course, a young undead like you would have no trouble taking care of a few wild animals. A young undead. Just sounds weird. With the roads clear, my journey to the next tower will be much easier. Yeah, I'll take the plague bat last. Now that I've got Ascension, it's actually kind of a nice ability to have. Because that is the 15% maximum, or 15% energy regen, and I can have one more chi. Can I help you? Any news on my Pammy? You've seen Pamela? She's alive? She's dead. No. Oh, Pamela. <sighs> Why does your spirit still suffer in this world? Why are you perished while fortune keeps me alive? In an instant, I would switch places with you and wander dead Darrow Shire, a ghost and alone. Ah, but this news cannot change fate. Thank you, Ashwind. Now my duty, my duty to revenge burns hot as ever. Say, what is that sword you have there? See you later. Uh, we're going to do that in the next video, actually. So I think that turns in everything. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next video, we'll find out more about the sword of uh, Joseph Redpath.